Okay, welcome to this uh, Active Inspire tutorial, looking at um, using action objects to reveal objects in layers. Uh, I use this quite a bit. So here's the setup. Uh, for example, I may not have access to a skeleton because it's being used somewhere else, but I want kids to see what bones look like. So here's my setup. Um, I have my skeleton, which I've locked on the background. I've just chosen three got three little wee dots here which I'm going to use they're going to become my action objects and of course I've got three pictures which are going to be the target now the key thing is all these pictures that I want to uh, reveal need to be the same size so the first thing I do is I stack them away neatly one behind the other uh, it doesn't matter what order they go in and I'm going to put a cover if you like over the top of it um, just to hide it all so kids don't see it when it's up on the board let's resize that and i am going to recolor it i want it the same as my background so i'm going to fill the square with white and i'm going to make the outside line white as well okay i am looking at three bones in this example. So I'm going to put one dot on the femur, which we've got hidden behind our big white square. One dot on the pelvis, which is the same. And one dot up here on the scapula or shoulder blade. Now we need our browser toolbar and we're going to go to actions. And the action I'm looking for is uh, bring to front. So I'm going to scroll down, I'm going to find bring to front, there it is. So, click on my first little wee square. The action I want is bring to front, and now we get this piece down here. I have to identify the target. Now the target will be the picture of the femur. There it is there, image 4. Okay, now I must apply changes. Having done that, you now see that the blue action object comes up for that one. My next one I want to bring to front. I have to identify my target. My target is the picture of the pelvis. There it goes. Okay. Apply changes. And we've got the blue arrow. Same for this one here. I want to bring to front. The target is my Scapular, okay, apply changes, and blue arrow, let's unpin that and get that out of the way. The other thing I like to do to stop it being moved around is I like to lock the action object in place. So by mistake it doesn't get moved around because it's quite important where it is. So now what happens is I click on femur and up pops a picture of the femur and we can do some work around that we click on the pelvis up comes the pelvis and you'll see it simply moves in front of the picture of the femur we had previously and same for scapula nice and simple i'll show you an example of how i use that uh, this one here the kids come up and would actually color in on the board uh, the muscle uh, see if they could write the name in. let's take this one for example and when they click on the dot there, up pops a picture of pectoralis major, what it looks like in the body. Um, and that could be pretty much the same for anything. And it always keeps popping to the front. And that's how we do it.